I'm gonna. Hi, I'm Taylor, and I'm gonna show you my um, Martha Washington poster. Um, I'm gonna start by reading um, a summary, more sort of like about her life. Um, on June sent. Second, Francis Jones and John Dandridge gave birth to Martha Dandridge. February 11, 1750, Martha got married to Daniel Kudos on April 6. Martha gave birth to her first son, Daniel, followed by a girl named Francis. After that, on May, May, May 21st, Martha had her, had her last child, Martha. On November 9, 1957, Martha's husband died. Daniel died, so she moved on to George Washington. On October 13th, 1759, they were married. Later on February 6th, 1775, Francis died. Then, then April 9th, 1777, another of Martha's kids had died. It was This time it was Daniel. After Francis and Daniel's death, deaths, Martha and George were left with two kids, Martha and John. On June 16th, on June 16, 1784, Martha helped in the war. Later on June 2nd, 1800, Ma Martha Washington turned 69. Through, though two years later, on April 10th, 19, 1802, Martha died. She was 71 years old. Martha died of the yellow fever that was going around. Okay, so next, um, this is just a picture of Martha Washington, and now I, I also made an acrostic poem about Martha Washington, so I'm going to read that. For M, May 2nd is when Martha was born, A, a woman married to, pa pa to patriot George Washington, T, the first first lady, H, her nickname that George called her was Patsy, A, a girl who disliked Philadelphia, and W was married. So now I'm on to Washington. Um, Washington was married twice. A a thing she liked was sewing. S she enjoyed gardening. H her house that she lived in was the White House. Um, H, I mean I, independent as a woman, and never enjoyed being first lady. G George Washington was Martha's second husband. And T two of her kids didn't die. And O once she. Um, rode her horse into her house, and N, New York was a city that Martha did not like. Okay, so I'm also going to go on to um, Martha Washington's purse. Um, so I put in there some things that I thought what, um, Martha might have in her purse. Um, so I started off with some cucumber seeds because um, Martha Washington always, um, I think, I know she enjoyed what um, gardening. Okay, and I also have a spool and thread. I mean, uh, um, spool and um, needle. It's not a very good needle; it's just a feather. But um, here's my needle and spool. Uh, she enjoyed sewing. Um, here is a um, feather um, in case it's just um, to write with. And also I have a wallet, which my money fell out. Um, a wallet with um, some money in it or coins. Okay, so next I also um, made a brochure of, um, for people to come back and meet Martha Washington. Come back. Okay, so I, on the cover, front cover I started with a picture of Martha Washington. And I said, um, come meet Martha Washington. So inside I have my summary here and here that I also read up here before. Um, I have Martha Washington's um, name. So, 
these um, three sides are um, a sum summaries of Martha Washington, which I write up here. I also have um, details that I thought you would people would need if they wanted to come back. So I ma um, made a made a made up phone number and wrote where where they could come to like so they could come to 426 South Mitchell and um, I also wrote that there were only 20 tickets available okay yeah. so next I made a award or ribbon that I thought Martha Washington would get um well could get and I this award was um to Martha Washington for being the first first lady. Um, I also wrote a letter that I thought Martha Washington would have wrote to somebody close or that she enjoyed being with. So I wrote it to um, George Washington because that was her husband and this um, um, letter was about when George Washington was at the war. So it starts by saying, Dear George, I miss you so much. How are you doing? I am so sad you had to leave. I just wanted to let you know that that you forgot some teeth at home. Right now I am not very busy, but it would be nice to have you here. I mean, why should the president have to go to war? Shouldn't he be here if there are any emergencies? But if you know what you are doing, I trust you. Sincerely, your loving wife, Martha. So um, this is my Revolutionary War Hero Project, and I hope you like it.